Welcome to this brief demonstration of the Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud Plan to Produce Solution, a comprehensive, powerful, and easy-to-use set of applications that enable efficient and productive manufacturing operations. This demonstration shows capabilities plan for Release 11. I start as Vision Corporation's planner. I see a social conversation related to the current plan, and I investigate. The VP of Operations has commented that sales has committed to an increase in demand. Now I need to see if production can be ramped up to meet that demand. I select Planning and select Planning Central. I review a summary of Vision's overall planning performance, which I can configure to fit my needs. I've already increased the shipment forecast to match sales forecasts. However, this info tile shows a problem. The increased forecast has resulted in a lot of demand at risk of shipping late. The detailed chart below, which is associated with this info tile, is a heat map that breaks down the demand at risk by a variety of dimensions and uses shading to determine the extent of the problem. I can see from the color coding that the biggest problem is with the vision tablet. I'm going to investigate. I have a number of options for working on the problem and select demand fulfillment to see recommendations to reschedule or expedite orders. I can prioritize my actions by picking the orders with the greatest impact to the business. Let's look at the recommendations. I can reorder, change, or accept supply order recommendations to meet my needs. In this case, I'm going to select Planning Central's recommendations and accept, and then rerun the plan to see if the demand at risk problem has been resolved. I select Action to rerun the plan and select OK to confirm. The plan runs in near real time. And the Planning Central immediately shows the updated metrics. The changes were a success and the demands at risk of shipping late have been eliminated. So let's turn the plan into execution. I choose to select only the orders that are required on the shop floor immediately. I can expand the order to see if there is enough inventory on hand to start the job. There is. So I mark the orders for release and release them to the shop floor. I select Actions and mark for release. Select Actions again and then actually release the work orders to production. Signing on now as production operator Ellis Bradley I quickly and efficiently execute production. I see metrics that tell me how the plant and my work center is performing. For right now, I am going to simply click on the ready bar to see the operations that are ready for action. The first item on my dispatch list is a serialized tablet. You'll notice that this item has an asterisk right next to the materials link, indicating the material needs to be issued manually. This is a serialized assembly, so it shows me the parent serial number and all the components I need to issue, all defaulted in. I scan the component item number, then the serial number, and repeat the process for the next component. Scan the serial number. I'm complete, so I save, then repeat for the second parent serial number. This process ensures complete traceability for both. Scan the component and associate it. Repeat for the next serial and associate that. I'm done and can save the transaction. Back on the dispatch list, I can see a green tick mark against the materials link indicating that all the materials have been issued. To complete the operation, I expand the row, I select both serial numbers, and click Quick Complete. The system now shows the next operation is packaging, but we'll leave that for another time. Let's change hats one more time to see how Joanna, the cost accountant, can view the work order costs. I select Cost Accounting and let's see what tasks I can perform. 
I can define standard costs, perform cost roll-ups, and analyze variances, among other things. But today, I will review work order costs. I find the work order and open the cost analysis region. I see that there is a negative variance to the standard, so let's look at the details. Drilling down to look at the first operation, I can see all of the cost components and the details. This concludes our brief end-to-end -end demo of the Plan to Produce Solution, a comprehensive, powerful, and easy-to-use set of applications enabling efficient and profitable manufacturing operations. For more information, please visit cloud.oracle.com. Thank you.